Hey guys, in this video we're having a quick look at the front spin for Swordcraft. That's coming up. Perhaps you'd like to learn, or maybe you've bought a sword and you don't want it to just be a wall hanger, then I strongly recommend learning some of these skills because um, uh, it makes you look a bit more kind of imposing to your opponent. Number three, it's for safety. So by learning some of these skills, we're learning the situational and spatial awareness of where your sword is at any given time and where your sword is in relation to your hand. So you don't need to think about it too much. It simply becomes an instinctive movement. Alrighty guys, before we get into training today, I'd just like to add a couple of points that are really important. Number one, always train with a proper training sword or training weapon. Okay, so uh, please don't train with a live blade such as a sharp sword or an axe or something like that it's only going to end in disaster this is a cold steel medieval training sword and it, not only does it perform like a real sword but it looks really good but it's safe to train with and you are going to injure yourself if you do train with a, a live blade whilst doing this kind of thing you may also notice that um, some of these sword skills are different depending on the different type of sword you're using. So perhaps you're using a katana, maybe you're using a, a one and a half handed sword, that kind of thing. It is going to be slightly different depending on the type of sword you're using. So why would you want to learn some of these skills? Well, they look awesome. They really do. And when you start to interplay some of these very basic skills, and some of the more advanced skills, then you can really sort of see how good they look. Number two, if for those of you who are into medieval reenactment, already so we're looking to learn the front spin because it's the very foundation for a lot of the more dynamic moves that we'll go into in some of the future videos. Our start position for this particular skill, the front spin, is like so. Split stance, feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, and the, the sword in an in a upright position, slightly angled, as you can see. Alrighty, super simple. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my sword, okay? So that's the first part of this. During this part, we're gaining some momentum. We're allowing the weight of the sword to pick up and provide the, the momentum. Okay, second part of this is we are reducing the, the grip on the sword with our bottom three fingers. So our thumb and our forefinger are still gripping the sword. However, our lower three fingers are loosening. We still have full control on the sword. Step one, lower the sword. Step two, we are opening our fingers. Okay, step one, opening, lowering the sword. Step two, opening the fingers and do that a few times just to get yourself a little bit of experience and exposure to that. Super simple, I know, but this is about building muscle memory. It's about building instinct. Alrighty, so let's look at that from a different perspective. Fingers open, so, and then we use dropping the sword, we just fingers rotate out. Rotate the sword around, dropping the sword, fingers back out. into its original start position. Step three, Alrighty, let's do a walk through. Drop the sword, okay, fingers open, palm out. Do that again. Drop the sword, fingers open, palm out. Okay, as I say, this is about building muscle memory. We need to do this for some thousands of times before we can actually start to really build the skill. We go from this position with our fingers open, our palm out, and then we, using that momentum, we just rotate the sword round, 
back into its original start position. Alrighty, let's do a walkthrough. Okay. Lower the sword. Fingers open. Palm open. Palm out. Rotate the sword back to the start position. Super simple, I know. Alrighty, let's put all those steps together. Lower the sword. Fingers open. Palm open. Palm out. Rotate the sword. And you'll find as you start to do this with a little bit more speed, the action becomes a bit more natural. Now this is, um, as I say, the front spin is simply a component of many of the other kind of skills that we'll go through in some of the other videos that are coming up. You'll find with medieval swords that sometimes the cross guard can get in the way and you may have to adjust your grip to cope with that. So, different angle again. Drop, fingers open, palm out and rotate. Drop, fingers open, palm open, rotate. Back to the start. Alrighty guys, and as you start to pick up speed, and you can interlock this with other moves, you'll find that it becomes a lot more natural, it becomes a bit more kind of instinctive, and you can use this position, and you can use this skill, as I say, with lots of other sword skills we'll be talking about in some of the coming weeks. Alrighty guys, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share, and I'll catch you in my next video.